viewers and my subscribers. Welcome to Living Life with Esoke. Thanks for your support always. What we will be looking at today is how to navigate your way as an immigrant in the Americas or Europe, but mostly in America, that is where I live. Immigration to Americas or Europe is not as easy as you think. You, you got your immigrant visa either alone or with your family. You are happy and thanking God that your life is going to change for the better, which it will if you put in the work. You are dreaming of owning a home and buying a, a car or even becoming rich. You get to the destination airport if you have to travel down. After checking your credentials, the immigration officer tells you, Welcome to America. From there, your journey starts. Maybe a friend or relative pick you up to welcome you. If you did everything right at the beginning, when you were filling your immigration forms, then your social security number should arrive in a month and your 10 years green card in three months. In this waiting period, you are anxious to start working, to send money home. If you still have your wife and children back home or to pay your ticket debt, money debt, etc. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Like, comment, share and click on the notification bell so next time I upload a new video, you will be amongst the first to see it. Please also leave the advert of the video to run. God bless you as we do so. Back to our topic. Your green card comes and you can start applying for jobs. Some people think they can get corporate jobs at the beginning when they get to America. No, you can't. You are not in their system. You do not have their certification to do uh, those types of uh, corporate jobs yet. You are not certified yet. The readily available ones are factory and home health, uh, nursing aid jobs, delivery and driving jobs like Uber Lyft. That is your first baptism. Whether you were a house of representative or a doctor or an engineer or a pharmacist or a business tycoon in your home country you are going to start with uh, the uh, low level jobs stay focused and work your way up if you are serious and if you are not you will do the low level jobs or the linear jobs forever so get entrenched in the jobs. It might be that you feel you are too old for more education or that you don't even have the basic education and can't fit into the corporate world. So they are satisfied with where they are and what they are earning. That is okay as long as it is able to pay their rent, feed them and they are left with small change, little or no savings. When they calculate the exchange rate compared to their home country uh, currency, they have they have arrived. It's a lot better than where they are coming from. So that is fine. Before you know it, years have rolled by and they are still at one spot. And some will result in adding fraud to make ends meet. But if you are serious about your life, to have a better life, and focus to earn six digit figures, then you start with GED, General uh, uh, Educational uh, Diploma, or it's equivalent, I said, and get your name in the system. No matter how old you are in America, there is free adult education classes. The GED enables you to get grants and scholarships that you don't have to pay back by applying for FAFSA, free app it's called the free application for federal student aid. 
after you get the GED or its equivalent, you can decide to go for a full degree course or change your career, um, change your career altogether to like nursing and various uh, IT programs which will enhance your future. Then for the doctors and the pharmacists, they take up lower jobs in the hospitals or doctor's offices, preferably as medical assistants, pharmacy assistants or technicians or other jobs until they can pass the different steps of their certification that the country requires to become a full-fledged doctor or pharmacist. This takes years, but you will earn five to six digit figures on the long run, not to talk of the incentives and the bonuses that go with such employment. In conclusion, always seek information when here. Ignorance is not an excuse in the diaspora. There is an adage in my tribe that says someone that asks uh, questions does not get lost. So whatever you need to do, go to the direct source to seek the information either by internet or by phone or by person. Do not seek information from people that uh, passed through uh, the route two to three years ago. I am not saying that they will be wrong, but one or two things might have changed since they got theirs. New policies may now be in place. And lastly, be wise. Do not follow people to do rat race in the diaspora. You will end up in jail. My car is bigger than your car. Please cut your desires according to your finances. By so doing, you will not fall into debt or into trouble. Or you find yourself toiling day and night doing two, three jobs in order to pay back debt or credit card. Buy things when you can, when you can afford it, when you know you can afford it. Start small and grow big. Thanks for watching this clip to the end. Please do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. See you in my next video. Bye from now from Grandma Esohe. God bless you.